I'm Anthony Hill in Tampa. We don't want any problems with the teeth that could, could affect a child's overall health. Tooth decay is the number one chronic disease in children in the United States. In fact, five times more children have cavities than asthma. And 51% of elementary school kids have some form of tooth decay. Some people don't always know that. The American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry Foundation is trying to make childhood dental health care more accessible. Over the past years, we have um, committed over $10 million to access to care grants across this country so that children who would not ordinarily have access to dental care have that care. They're doing this by partnering with local organizations, giving them grants to provide oral health care. And we find that by doing it that way, we are really able to have folks who know their communities and know which children are the most vulnerable and being able to provide that care for those children. So far, more than 800,000 children have received dental care thanks to this program. And they say they plan on expanding to reach even more children. Because we are going to get to our goal of optimal oral health care for all children. So what can you do to help prevent tooth decay in your children? The biggest thing is brushing and flossing their child's, child's teeth. We recommend two minutes, two times a day. They also recommend taking your child to a pediatric dentist every six months for a checkup once they turn one year old and asking them about the latest trends in oral health care. By doing so, we're going to create the um, atmosphere and the future for that child's dental care so that they won't be one of those children that is um, has cavities on their teeth. I've posted a link on our website, abcactionnews.com, to more in-depth information on childhood oral care. In Tampa, I'm Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.